Can you see a supernova soon? The giant star Betty Goose is behaving very strangely and scientists have finally found the explanation for it. This discovery could not only explain the strange behavior of the star, but also provide important new insights for calculating future supernovae. So make sure to stay tuned until the end. Welcome everyone. Something completely unexpected was discovered at the giant star Beitai Goiz. If you want to be informed immediately when there are such exciting news from the world of astronomy, then go ahead and subscribe now. Subscribing is completely free and you'll never miss a video again. And you are helping me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. Thanks a lot, guys. So now let's go to our favorite red glowing star. Beitai Goiz is the brightest star in the Orion constellation and one of the most striking stars in the night sky and is also one of the most mysterious because astronomers have been puzzling over its strange behavior for a long time. The star regularly shows brightness fluctuations that cannot be fully explained by its normal pulsations. The well-known astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson says, Beta Goose is a prime example of the dynamics of massive stars and shows how they become unstable in their final phases of life. I haven't even reached my last phase of life yet and I'm already unstable. Particularly noticeable is a cycle that repeats approximately every 2170 days or about every six years. And for this cycle, scientists had no convincing explanation until now. The fluctuations have always been puzzling they have become even more mysterious. By the so-called Great Dimming in 2019. At that time, Beta Goes suddenly became darker than ever before in the history of astronomical observation. Astronomers were in a state of high excitement. Was the long-awaited supernova about to occur? We now know that the extreme dimming was caused by a gigantic cloud of dust and gas that the star had expelled. But the big question remained. Why does Beta Goes behave so strangely? What is behind its regular brightness fluctuations? And now the scientists have finally found an answer. And this answer, what have the scientists discovered now? Weather Goose could actually be two stars. Sounds like it has a stellar personality disorder. An international research team has now found evidence that a second, smaller star is in orbit around Betelgeuse. This companion star, which the scientists affectionately named Beetle Buddy, orbits the main star in exactly the period that also shows the mysterious brightness fluctuations, namely about every 21 and 70 days. I think we need a better name than Beetle Buddy. Be something like Heinz or something. Write your best name suggestions for the companion star in the comments. I'm really looking forward to your suggestions and we'll try to respond to as many as possible. Promise. Yes, but how did the researchers come to this conclusion and what does it have to do with the supernova? Through a very detailed analysis of the movements of Betelgeuse, the star not only fluctuates in brightness, but also in its radial velocity, that is, the speed at which it moves away from or towards us. And these changes in speed fit perfectly with a scenario in which a small companion star orbits the main star. The lead author of the study, Jared Goldberg of the Flatiron Institute, explains it this way. We ruled out every internal source of variability we could think of to explain why the brightening and dimming occurred in this way. The only hypothesis that seemed to fit was that Betty Goose has a companion. But that's not all. The way brightness fluctuations are related to changes in speed tells us even more about this cosmic duo. The companion star seems to have a very interesting interaction with the material around Betty Goose. We know that Betty Goose is surrounded by an extended dust shell. And this newly discovered companion star seems to be stirring up the dust shell. It's carving a path through the dust as it orbits through the envelope. We see that Beta Goose's minimum brightness always occurs when the companion star is behind the main star, explains Meredith Joyce, a co-author of the study. This fits perfectly with our model that the companion star interacts with the dust around Beta Goose. The team was even able to calculate that the companion star moves around Beta Goose at a distance of about 1850 solar radii, a distance that perfectly matches these observed fluctuations. This also explains why the brightness of Beta Goose fluctuates at such regular intervals. As the companion star moves through the dust shell, it alters its structure and thus how much light can penetrate to us. It's a bit like breaking into your neighbor's house every six years, tearing open the vacuum cleaner bag and spreading all the dust around the house. Does that make any sense? 
The researchers were even able to determine the approximate. It appears to have a mass of about 1.2 solar masses, which is significantly lighter than Beta Goose itself, which has a mass of about 16.5 to 19 solar masses. The distance between the two stars is about 2.4 times the radius of Beta Goose. That doesn't sound like much, but considering the Beta Goose itself is already about 764 times larger than the Sun, it is an enormous distance. Now you might be wondering, why didn't we discover this companion star earlier? That's because it is extremely... Beta Goose is about 100,000 times brighter than our Sun, so it is practically impossible to see a comparatively tiny companion star directly. It would be like trying to see a firefly next to a floodlight mast. That's why we don't yet have any exact details about the nature of the Beetle Buddy. There are even some really outlandish hypotheses out there. As curator Meredith Joyce says, one exotic hypothesis, which I personally like, even though my co-authors disagree, is that the companion is a neutron star, the core of a star that has already become a supernova. So we should definitely check again, and the researchers have even calculated specific observation times. The next opportunity to observe the companion star at the edge of Beta Goys will be on November 26th, 2027, so you can mark it in your calendar. However, this discovery is not only interesting because it solves a long standing. It is also important for our understanding of how Betelgeuse will one day end up as a supernova. We know that Betelgeuse will eventually end its stellar existence in a massive explosion. When that happens, it will be as bright as the full moon from Earth for several weeks. But the presence of a companion star could have an important influence on how and when exactly that explosion takes place. The companion star could, for example, influence the outer layers of Betelgeuse through its gravity and thus alter the mass ejection or the dynamics of the supernova. And furthermore, the interaction between the two stars could also shift the exact timeline until the explosion by either drawing off material or promoting instabilities in the core of Betelgeuse. This means that the supernova could not only be spectacular, but also unique compared to stars without companions. If you don't want to miss the further observations from Beetle Buddy and additional insights, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel now. And speaking of amazing discoveries, do you actually know that our planet is currently undergoing a very mysterious change? The Earth's magnetic field is behaving increasingly strangely, and some scientists believe that a pole shift is imminent. What exactly this means and what if- And if you click on the bottom right, you will find another exciting topic related to science and space research. Every click helps me a lot. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.